Whoa, man, can't wait to watch this vid. Tilescape's totally rad, man. DM Scotty's Tilescapes, the isometric terrain system. Craft them all! Wow your friend! Hey Crafting Mateys, welcome back for another edition of Tilescapes with our dungeon block, a Dwarven Icebreaker ship. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? We're going to do some more details on the ship, uh, so let's hit that table and we'll work on some more details to bring the ship alive. Since this was going to be a whaling vessel, I wanted to have a harpoon gun, and then to make that I used these uh, spindles, this kind of basket shape, and this plug for the end. And then for the stand, I had this uh, stand piece, uh, this kind of hook piece, and then like a plug for the end. So here I am uh, putting the piece together. So you can see how the stand works it all together. I've glued it all together. And there's the stand. So it'll stand up and uh, hold it up. It can turn around and point in different directions. So nice. Now I'm going to cover it with white glue. It'll do two things. It'll secure the uh, piece together, uh, make it give it strength, and kind of fill in the wood to make it look more like a metal object as opposed to a wood object. So my idea was kind of actually to cover up the wood grain, right? So there we go, just paint that on. I just watered the brush down a little bit to make it easier to put on. And there we go. So now I've got my stand and a strip just of cardstock. What I'm going to do is bend it up so it'll be easy to put around the stand here. And this is going to just be some metal banding on, this, on the stand itself. Just mark that. So I know where to cut, cut it off. And since it's uh, wood and uh, cardstock, I'm just gonna use white glue on it to hold it on. So nice, just make sure hold it long enough so it sets up. There we go, no muss, no fuss. Now I'm gonna use a Sharpie to kind of mark dots on this to where I'm gonna put the rivets, like the rivets for the metal band on this. So cool. Now I'll just start gluing my uh, rhinestones on, and those make great rivets, right? You saw that in the last video. And I'm just using goop. Works great on different types of materials. All right, cool. Now I'm going to glue a washer to the bottom to give it weight so it won't be tipping over. Now I've got a barbecue skewer, and I'm going to use these for the harpoons. And I've just measured to the end of the gun. It actually goes in the gun, which is pretty cool. And then I'll cut those pieces there. So I have you know, ammunition for the harpoon gun. And you say, hey, wait a minute. Only one of those has a uh, point on it. Well, here, I'll show you what I'm going to do here in a sec. So I'm, uh, I'm even cutting the point off. <laughs> so I got these little pieces. They're plastic metal spikes. Uh, and you can buy the buy these at different places uh, that sell jewelry or online. And I just cut the uh, the little hook off the end there, or the little eye that you would put it onto a necklace. And uh, I'm gonna add some goop, the two different materials again. So glue that plastic right to the stick. We're gonna paint the harpoon gun with the same bronze we used on the front of the ship, and with the base of the harpoon gun, and then the harpoon gun itself. So, might want to put some gloves on this point. You see, I got all over my hands. So, yeah, I usually use rubber gloves. All right, we'll let that dry up. Now we'll just put a wash on here, black wash, and that will really bring out the details. See all the detail coming out and gives a little bit of age. So, nice. And the base. All right, our deck uh, gun is, gun is done. Here I have a frame I laid out from three craft sticks. I've cut them four inches. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting some craft sticks on the bottom of that frame to hold it together, right? Because uh, you can see they're just attached at the corners there. And I want to reinforce it. So I'm covering it with some other craft sticks on the bottom here. Okay. 
So I'm just white gluing these on. White glue works really good with wood and cardboard and paper and that kind of thing. Don't really need to use the hot glue. And there we go. So that's the bottom of the railing actually. Oops. Oh, here we go. So see how that's connected. All right, we'll let that dry up. Now I've got these beads and I'm going to use my goop because that's great for different types of materials and I'll glue those on uh, in between the railings that I'm going to have here. So that's some nice decorative beads. Just get these at the craft store. And wipe any excess off. Nice. Now I'm going to start putting the railing on top. Okay, and the railing on top is just um, stir sticks, right? You can get these at your local coffee shop. And uh, I'm just going to E6000 these on top, or goop, either one. Now I, can, I cut it so that I didn't cover the last uh, spindle, right? I'm going to mark that again. And same with the other piece. So I can get the same length. Just mark, just uh, glue those, and then it doesn't go all the way to the end. I kind of like that it doesn't go all the way to the end. There's a little excess of the base. Nice. All right. Now I got these caps, and I'm going to use these on top as a decorative element. So I'm just using my white glue. I only use the E6000 because there's two different materials, plastic and wood don't glue together very well. But uh, wood on wood works great with white glue. Very nice bond. All right, very cool. Now I just paint it up. I spray painted it flat black, used dark brown on it. Now I hit it with a bit of a lighter brown. Then I hit it with a tan, and I am good to go. Nice. Here I have the pieces for my pilot's chair, and I've got a circular woodsy, and a kind of a woodsy base, and a woodsy uh, rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to use that as the backing. Cut that off a little bit. Trim it. And I'm just going to all glue this with white glue. So, I've also got a fork here. I'm going to use that for decoration because it has these, this fun detail on it. And I thought it'd be cool. So I just measured that before I glued the back on, right? Cut it off. And I'll let that dry up. And I'll put the back on, the plastic back, with the uh, E6000 or goop, because uh, it's two different types of materials, right? All right, now we're painting this sucker. Uh, I spray painted it flat black, painted it with some brown, and now I'm using the uh, tan to kind of add some uh, highlights to it. Just doing it wet on wet. So just bringing out those edges and details on there. Seems a little heavy handed right now, but it'll dry a little darker there. So cool. Got a couple pull bars I made here, and I thought it'd be neat if they could pull them to steer the ship, right? Like the, the pilot could you pull them to steer the ship. So I just made these with some cocktail sticks and some beads, right? Just some small beads. And here it is, the chair painted and on the base. So I used another round base and glued the, uh, the control bars to it with uh, the goop, okay? So easy to do. And then I just uh, spray painted it flat black and painted it with my brown. And then I added my tan for uh, detail, some wood detail and aging. Uh, next, I painted the bars uh, with my bronze, so uh, it gives a nice metallic. Then hit it with a uh, black wash to give them a little bit of age. And uh, then I just glued the chair to the base uh, with my white glue. And here we go, the completed uh, thing. I think it looks really cool, really neat pilot chair. It gives it a different look than uh, that. You know, having a steerman's wheel or something. You actually control it with the the bars, so very cool. All right, crafters, let's take a look at this bad boy. Here is our harpoon gun, and uh, let me borrow that a second. Move a crewman out of the way there. Wow, look at that. Really easy, super simple to do, and really effective. So the uh, harpoon actually comes out of the gun, so pretty cool. 
I really like that. And just looks like it's worn and been used and uh, you know it's just that base is just really easy way to make it turn and pivot. We also have our ammo here at the front. I just have it loose at the front here. So extra harpoons. Very, very cool. Now let's hit the back of the ship. So here we go, the back of the ship where the pilot deck and we have the railing just comes right off and I really like the detail on that. The, uh, the beads have a really nice uh, design on them so it just really adds to it, the railing I think. And just super simple and effective. The bottom plates holding it all together. Just super simple and it's really sturdy. Now let's take a look at the pilot chair. So move the pilot off there. It fits right on there. You want to make it for playability. And look at that. Really, I think that really looks cool with the uh, levers that you can steer the ship with. I thought that'd be really original instead of having like a steering wheel for the ship. And just very cool. And I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time for some more uh, Dwarven Icebreaker uh, crafts. Hey friends, glad you could join me for this voyage of crafting. <laughs> I get it. Uh, make sure you watch part one of the shipbuilding video uh, so you don't miss out. And, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you want to join my Patreon, you can join my Patreon. I got extra content for my Patreon supporters. And I'll see you next time for more construction on this Dwarven Icebreaker. Can't wait to see you guys again.